Good evening, children. Good evening, Swati. Good evening, Bhavishya. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. So, Bhavishya, uh, since uh, your exams were going on, uh, you have not taken up the two tests on uh, cubes and cube roots. Uh, so, you can just, uh, uh, you know, like uh, have an idea about the answers. You can work the test papers as uh, homework. Try to complete it by this weekend. You have not even uh, completed the classwork. Bhavishya, please complete the classwork on uh, cubes and cube roots as well as these test papers and make sure that you keep the, you know, all, all this ready by Monday's class. Is that fine? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, have you learned uh, cubes and cube roots in school, Bhavishya? No, no. No. Okay. Fine. So, yeah, take a screenshot, uh, Bhavishya. This is the uh, uh, test paper, the first test paper. Done, Bhavishya? Is it over? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. This is the second one, not the second test, the second page of the first test. Second one. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, Swati, what's the answer? Complete the patterns. Um, is this the first test? Yeah, the first test. M1, uh, M1 plus 2 plus 3, and it goes on until 100, the whole cube, mom. Cube or whole square? Yes, mom, whole square. Okay, and the next one? Ma'am, 1 plus 15 into 14 into 3. 1 plus 15 into 14 3, correct. The first one is 1 plus 2 plus 3 goes on till 100. Plus 100, the whole square. The whole square. Not the whole cube, the whole square. Yeah, and 15 cubed minus 14 cubed is 1 plus 15 into 14 into 3. Um, 15 into 14 could be inside the bracket, no one. Yeah, okay, fine. In the bracket. Yeah. So just let me know if any part of the test was not explained in the videos, because all the all the questions in this test, uh, similar questions were explained in the videos. Uh, just in case you feel some question was not explained, just let me know. I'll do it now. These patterns were explained, right, in the videos, Swati? Yes, ma'am, it was explained. Okay. What about this one? Express 343? Ma'am, the formula is, ma'am, ma'am, 7 into 7 minus 1 plus 1, ma'am. So, 7 into 6 plus 1, 42 plus 1, 43, ma'am. So 43 plus 45 plus 47 plus 49 plus 51 plus 53 plus 55 plus 57 equals 343. I mean 55 equals 343. So it is a sum of the seven consecutive odd numbers starting from 43. 43 to 50. Correct. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, please check your steps, uh, Swati. And Bhavisha, keep taking screenshots, sir. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Have you done with the first one? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any doubt here, Swati? No, ma'am, no doubt. Yeah, what is the cube root of uh, six six lakh fifty eight thousand five not three to est uh, through estimation? I'm eighty seven. Eighty seven. Yes.
Yeah, what is the Hardy Ramanujan number? Ma'am, when a number can be expressed as a sum of cubical number in different ways, then the number is said to be Hardy Ramanujan number. A number can be expressed as the sum of the cubes. Cube. Yes, ma'am. Cube numbers cube in numbers. Numbers. Yeah. In at least two different ways, it's uh, called a Hardy Ramanujan number. Okay. Yes. Yes, Swati, what's the answer for 5A? I'm asking Swati uh, because only she's taken up the test. I think Nandana has now joined. Yeah, Nandana. So Nandana, you also uh, couldn't take up the tests on cubes and cube roots, right? Yeah, Swati, what's the answer for 5A? Five 5A4. Five by four and for B five B. Ma'am, two into seventeen into A square. Ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, I'm Nandana, ma'am. Yes, Nandana. No, Nandana, uh, you were not able to take up uh, the tests on cubes and cube roots, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. So we are seeing the answers uh, to the two tests, which were conducted on okay. Monday and Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. So you two have to uh, complete the, you know, test questions as uh, assignment. Okay, ma'am. And, uh, you know, make sure that you completed by Monday's class. You finished the test at school, right? Uh, no, ma'am. On Monday, I have a test one, but uh, Saturday, Sunday, they, um, they, we have leave, ma'am. Okay. Um, um, so that... When are you finishing uh, all the tests in school? No, ma'am, I'm not. Monday, huh? Yes, ma'am, Monday. Okay, fine, fine. But uh, what do you have on Monday? I have science, ma'am. Science. Science. Uh, will you have time to complete this assignment? That is uh, mm -hmm. test one uh, test one and two on uh, cubes and cube roots? Yeah, ma'am, I will complete it today itself, ma'am. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Swati, for the first one, you said five by four, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and for the next one? Did you say this? Okay, yes, let me. Yes, ma'am. Once I study the Cuban cubic, shall I write the test now? Yeah, you'll do that, yes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, you can then uh, leave the meeting and uh, continue to, I mean, start writing the test. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, that'll be good, yeah. You can use the meeting recording to see the answers. Okay. Yeah, share the pictures. Your test papers, uh, take a picture and uh, share it on WhatsApp with me. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yes, uh, Swati? Ma'am, I said 2 into 17 into A square. For oh, the next one, no? Okay. This one? Any doubt here? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. You said 2 into 17 into A square, huh? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so you're right. You just have to multiply 2 and 17. 34 A square. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, what is the least number by which 150 is to be multiplied so that the product is a perfect cube? For oh, this one, you said you had a doubt, right? I, I shared the answer also with you. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, what was your doubt in this, uh, Swati? Um, no, ma'am. I was just collapsed because none of the numbers were being grouped into three, ma'am. Okay. So I thought to multiply or uh, this take one. Okay, okay, okay. So, 
when you express uh, 150 as a product of its prime factors, you see that uh, all the three primes, 2, 3 and 5, all the three primes, 2, 3 and 5 do not occur in triples. Now, in the factorization of uh, 150, we have three prime numbers, 2, 3, and 5. All these primes do not occur in triples. So then what is the least number to be multiplied? Now, there is one 2. You need two more 2s. Only then it will become 2 cubed. There is only one 2 here. You need two more 2s. That is, that is you need 2 into 2. Then this 2 into 2 into 2 will become 2 cubed. There is only one 3. So you need two more 3s so that it can be written as 3 cubed. And there is there are two 5s. You need one more 5. There is one 2. So you need two more 2s, 2 square. There is one 3. You need two more 3s. There are two 5s. So one more 5. So 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. And this is 5. 5 fours are 20, 5 fours are 20 into 9, 180. So 180 is the smallest number by which 150 is to be multiplied so that the product is a perfect cube. Um, can we directly multiply the factors um, like 2 into 3 into 5 into 5? 2 into uh, directly multiply which factors? Um, the prime factors um, like 2 into 3, 6 and 6 into 25, 118. 2 into 3, 6, 6 into 25 is 150. 118. Oh. 2 into 3 is 6, okay? And 6 into 25 is 150. Ah, yes, no. Yeah, because 150 is only 2 into 3 into 5 square, no? 150 is 2 into 3 into 5 square. So, yeah, we need... Now, this 2 and 2 square will become 2 cube. 3 into 3 square will become 3 cube. 5 square into 5 will become 5 cubed. So 180 is the smallest number to be multiplied. Yes. Yeah. The answer for this one. Ma'am, 8 is the smallest number by which 1440 should be divided. 8. Let me see. Yeah. You tell me the uh, uh, prime factorization of uh, 1440, Swati. Um, two, two raised to the power 5 into 5 into 3 square. Okay. So that you can also write this as uh, 2 cubed into 2 square into 3 square into 5. Is this right? Yes, ma'am. There are five twos. There are five twos. I'm just writing it as uh, three twos and then two twos. Two cubed and three, uh, two cubed and two square. I'm actually, I told you the answer. I got one eight. Four into nine into five. I thought eight, you said. Okay. I thought I heard eight. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, like one, uh, the answer is 180, ma'am, and 1440 divided by 180 equals 8, ma'am. Yes, so oh, that. You said the quotient, is it? Okay, okay. Okay. So we need one more 2. We need one more 3. And we need two fives. This is This is in triples. Now this is 2 square, so you need one more 2, so that it becomes 2 cubed. This is 3 square, so you need one more 3, so that it becomes 3 cubed. And there is one 5 here, you need two more 5s, so 5 square. 2 3s are 6, 6 into 25. 3 2s are 6, 6 into 25. What is 6 into 25? 
150. What did you say? 180. Yeah. Oh, this is divided. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God, this is divided. Okay. Yes. I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. 1440 is equal to 2 cubed into uh, 2 square into what was it? 3 square huh? into 5, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So uh, to find the least number to be divided, whatever, whichever factor does not occur in uh, triples must be removed. You must remove all those which do not occur in triples. If you have to find the least number to be multiplied, then this is the answer. The least number to be multiplied will be uh, you need one more two, one more three and two more fives. So two threes are six, six into 25 is 150. 150 is the least number. To be multiplied yeah. to 1440 so that the product is a perfect cube. For divided. To find the least number to be divided, you must take away all the primes that do not occur in triples. You must take away all the primes that do not occur in triples. So take away two square, take away three square because it doesn't occur in triples. Take away this five because it doesn't occur in triples. To find the least number to be divided, you must take away, you must remove all that which do not occur in triples. So this is two square, take it away. Three square, take it away. 5 take it away. So 2 square into 3 square, that is 4 into 9, 36. And 36 into 5 is 180. To find the least number to be divided, take away all the primes that do not occur in triples. So take away 2 square, take away 3 square, take away 5. And this product is 180. So 1440 should be divided by 180 so that the quotient is a perfect cube. And the quotient, when you divide the quotient is 8 and 8 is a perfect cube. Number 2 cubed is 8. Yeah, 2 cubed is 8. Yes. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I just messed it up. So in uh, square roots, squares and square roots, uh, the least number to be multiplied will be the same as the least number to be divided. But here it will it will be different. The number to be multiplied will be different from the number to be divided. In in the chapter squares and square roots, we have a similar question. No, what is the least number by which some number is to be multiplied so that uh, you know the product is a perfect uh, square, or what is the least number by which some number is to be divided so that the quotient is a perfect square, multiplied so that the product is a perfect square or divided so that the quotient is a perfect square. In such cases, what uh, the whatever is the answer to be multiplied, the same will be the answer to be divided also. But here it will be different. As we just saw, the least number to be multiplied is 150, but divided is 180. Yes. Can I get the three numbers, Swati? Find the three numbers. For me, the eighth question was find the side of a cube whose volume is like that number. Oh, you took the or question, huh? Yes, no. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll see this. Uh, look at this one also. Three numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4. So let the numbers be uh, 2x, 3x and 4x. Three numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4. So let the three numbers be 2x, 3x and 4x. The sum, the sum of their cubes is given to you. So let's find the cube of 2x. What is the cube of 2x? 2x the whole cube, which is 8x cube, meaning 2x into 2x into 2x. So 8x cubed. 
2 into 2, 4, 4 twos are 8, x into x, x square into x, x cubed. Now again, you must not put a bracket. When you write 8x cubed, again, you should not put 8x the whole cube. We have simplified. The cube of 2x is 2x the whole cube like this. 2 cubed is 8. x cubed is x cubed. Don't put the bracket again. Once you simplify, you should remove the bracket. We simplified. 2, th 2 cubed is 8 and x cubed here. So no, you shouldn't put the bracket again. Similarly, the cube of 3x. The cube of 3x is 3x the whole cube, which is 27x cubed. And the cube of 4x is 4x the whole cubed, which is 64x cubed. So now these are the these are the three numbers and these are their cubes. These are the three numbers and these are their cubes. Now it's given that the sum of their cubes is 0 0.334125. So sum of the cubes, sum of the cubes is equal to this is given. That means 8x cubed plus 27x cubed plus 64x cubed is equal to. Now this is a decimal number. Shift the decimal point, convert it to a fraction. Shift the decimal point and convert it to a fraction. See, that's what is given. Sum of their cubes. So sum of the cubes is equal to 0 0.334125 is given to us. So that means you should add these three cubes is equal to, as I told you, convert the decimal number to a fraction. So how many zeros? Two, four, six zeros. Two, four, six zeros. Now these are like terms. These three are like terms. So how do you add them? 8x cubed, 27x cubed, 64x cubed. How do you add? Uh, 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 7, 19. One carry over. Uh, 8, 9, 9, x cubed as it is. When you add or subtract, this x cubed will come down as it is. We add or subtract only the numerical coefficients. We add or subtract only the numerical coefficients that x cubed will come as it is. So 99x cubed is equal to simplify this. Simplify this meaning uh, keep reducing it in the tables of 5 or 25. You know, keep reducing. Keep reducing. You will get 2673 by 8000. Please keep reducing. Uh, so uh, in the tables of five, in the tables of five, five, six are 30, three is a remainder, five, six are 30, four is a remainder, uh, five, eights are 40, one is a remainder, five, twos are 10, uh, five, twos are 10, two is a remainder, fives are. Similarly here, five, five, twos are, and followed by two, five, zeros, one, two, three, four, five, zeros. Again, divide by five, divide by five. Five ones are five, one remains, threes are 15, uh, one remains, threes are 15, three remains, six are 30, two remains, five. Divided by, divide this by five, so five fours are 20 and four zeros, one, two, three, four zeros. Again by five, again by five. So five uh, twos are 10, three remains, five six are 30, three remains, five sevens are 35, uh, one remains, threes are. And this one, Five eights are 40, zero, zero, zero. So like this, when you keep, uh, you know, reducing in the tables of five, you can choose 125 if you're comfortable. You can you can try 125 uh, or 25 straight away. I have done by five. You keep doing by five. Keep simplifying by five. So see, you cannot simplify this further. 2673 by eight, but not that you should stop here. Now these two numbers are not divisible by the same tables further. These two numbers, these two numbers are not further divisible by a common number. So we stop. Now, next step, this 99 will be transposed. It comes to the other side for division. 99 comes to the other side for division. Now again, you can simplify because use the test of divisibility. This is divisible by three. This one is divisible by three. Uh, so three um, eights are 24. Two remains, three nines are 27, three ones are. And this one is three threes are, three threes are. Again, this one, three uh, twos are six, uh, two remains, three nines are 27, two remains, uh, three sevens are 21. Divided by uh, 33, no, so it's 11. Now, 
11 remains. 11 7s are 77. So 27 we get. That is, when you simplify this and this, you get 11 finally. You keep simplifying. You reduce, you reduce these two numbers using a common table. So I reduce these two using 3. I started with 3 and then finished with 11. So that means it's like 99 is gone and you get 27 here. You get 27 here. When you simplify 2673 by 99, we get 11 here. Sorry, 27 here. <clears throat> so x cubed is equal to 27 by 8000. X is equal to the cube root of 27 by 8000. X is equal to the cube root of 27 is 3 cubed. We know that 3 into 3 into 3 is 27. And 8000, 8000. See here. Uh, 8 is 2 cubed. 8 is 2 cubed. And when there are 3 zeros, the cube root will have only 1 zero. The cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of 8 is 2. And uh, when the number has 3 zeros, its cube root will have only 1 zero. Out of, of 3 zeros, only 1 zero it will have. If there are another 3 zeros from this 1 zero, 20 into 20 into 20 is 8,000. 20, see, 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. Now, 20 into 20 into 20 is 8,000 because 8 followed by three zeros. So, 20 cubed, you can see here, 20 cubed. 27 is 3 cubed. 8,000 is 20 into 20 into 20. It's easy. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8 and three zeros. So, now, next step. Uh, to get rid of this uh, cube root uh, symbol, from three threes, one three comes out. And from three twenties, one twenty comes out. To get rid of the cube root symbol, from three threes, one three comes out. It's free from the square root. And from uh, three twenties, one twenty comes out. So x is equal to three by twenty. X is equal to three by twenty. So now what are the numbers? We are supposed to find the three numbers. Now we got x. Now the three numbers are 2x, 3x and 4x. So the number, the numbers are 2x, 3x and 4x. So 2x meaning 2 into 3 by 20. So 2 ones are 2 uh, tens are. So 3 by 10. 3 by 10 which is nothing but 0 0.3. Now why we have to convert it to a decimal is because in the question we see a decimal number. No? So you can express now this is easy also 3 by 10 is 0 0.3. So you can you can leave this 3 by 10. Not that you will not get marks for that. You can leave it with 3 by 10. But since it's easier to easy to convert it to a decimal number, you can also do this. 3x 3 into 3 by 20. 3 into 3 by 20. Now here you cannot cancel anything. So 3 threes are 9, 9 by 20. 3 threes are 9, 9 by 20. 9 by 20. Now, how do you write 9 by 20 as 0 0.45? Now, 9 by 20 into 5, in, 5 by 5, into That's 5 by perfect. 5. Perfect. Very good. Yes. So, into 5 by 5. That is, 20 can be brought to 100. If the denominator is 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, if the denominator is 10 or a power of 10, it's easy to convert the fraction to a decimal. So simply multiply and divide by 5. So you get 45 by 100. 45 by 100. Which is 0 0.45. Even if you divide, you will get the same answer. If you divide, you will get the same answer. When you divide uh, 9 by 20. 9 by 20. <clears throat> so it's like 9.000. So 9 is not sufficient, so you have to take 90. 90 you have to take. <clears throat> so it will be like Z, or if you're not comfortable with this. 9 and uh, 20, so you can start like this. Uh, 20 zeros are 0, because 20 ones are as 20. 20 ones are 20, but this is 9. It's less than 20. So 20 zeros are 20 zeros are 0. Now 9 is the remainder. Keep a point, add a zero. 
see you know this division uh, your uh, primary school teachers you might have learned in different ways so i don't know so this will be easy for all of us to understand that is what i'm doing 9 divided by 20 i'm just repeating 20 ones are as 20 but this is 9 it's less than 20 so 20 zeros are 0 9 is the remainder now keep a point add a 0 you can keep a point and add a 0 20 fours are 80 10 is the remainder. You can add a zero, one free zero every step. If you want one more zero, then you should add a zero here and then a zero here. Okay, so you can add one free zero, one free zero. 25 is 100 and zero is the remainder. So 0 0.45. So 9 by 20, when you divide, you will get 0 0.45. It is 0 0.45. But you can also get like this 9 by 20 into 5 by 5. So this is nothing. The equivalent fraction 45 by 100 is equivalent to 9 by 20. So is equal to 0 0.45. Similarly, this one you can cancel here um, for two twos are and two tens are. So this one I think I've made a mistake in writing. 4 into 3 by 20. When you cancel, see here 2 2s are 2 10s are. Correct? 3 2s are 6. 6 by 10. It is 0 0.6. 0 0.6. Made a mistake while typing. Children, 4x, 4 into 3 by 20. Cancel. If whenever if possible, you can simplify. 2 2s are 4. 2 10s are. So 2, 3 is a 6 by 10, which is 0 0.6. 0 0.6. 6 by 10. Yeah, correct. 6 by 10, which is 0 0.6. Yes, please ask me. Any part you don't still understand, I was not clear somewhere, you can ask me. Can we go to the next one? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, what's the answer for this? Swati, you've tried this one. Yes, ma'am. I'm 29 yeah. by 6 meters. 29 by 6. Yeah. Please check your factorization. I'm a, I'm I have it in a set fraction, ma'am. I have it in a proper section. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yes, ma'am. No questions? No, ma'am, no doubts. Yeah. Is this a perfect cube? Give reasons. Is it a perfect cube? Ma'am, since uh, 1, 7, 5, 6, 1, 6 can be expressed as a product of its equal prime factors, it is a cube number, ma'am. Can be expressed as a product of triples of? Product of equal. triples. Of equal uh, prime factors, it's a perfect cube. Okay, let's see. Yeah. See if my uh, factorization is correct. Yes, ma'am, the exponential form is correct. Oh, okay, fine. All right. So since uh, the given number can be expressed as a product of triples of equal prime factors, equal prime factors, it is a perfect cube. Yeah, what's the value? Uh, 
Ma'am, 18 by 13. 18 by 20, yeah? 18 by 13, ma'am. 18 by 13. Correct. So first you need to convert the mixed fraction to an improper fraction. This is a mixed fraction converted to an improper fraction. So uh, 2197 into 2 plus 1438 gives you the numerator 5832 divided by 2197. Now you will have to take up the numerator. And uh, perform this uh, procedure and express it as a product of primes of. Product of its primes. And then take up the denominator. Perform this procedure. Express it. As a product of its primes. So here we have 2 cubed into 3 cubed into 3 cubed. And here it is 13 cubed. So to get rid of the cube root symbol, to get rid of the cube root symbol from 2, from 3 2s, 1 2 out. From 3 3s, 1 3 out. And again from 3 3s, 1 3 out. And from 3 13s, 1 13 out. You cannot simplify. If you can simplify 13 and something, you can simplify. But it's not possible. So 3 to the 6, 6, uh, 3 is 18, 18 by 13. And you can write it as a mixed fraction, 1, 5 by 13. 18 by 13 is 1, 5 by 13. So the given question, the, the given expression is a mixed fraction. Convert that to an improper fraction. Numerator, denominator. Express them as a product of their primes. And then to get rid of the cube root symbol. Bring one out of three equal primes out. 18 by 13. Mixed fraction 1 5 by 13. OK, so this is about the answers for the first test, which was conducted on Monday. Ma'am, in the second test, I have some doubts, ma'am. Yeah, sure, some, yeah. yes, ma yeah. some question you have asked the surface area, ma'am, but in the playlist you have shared, there is no videos regarding surface area. Fine, fine, fine. All right. Please ask me when we come across that question. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, Bhavishya, uh, have you been uh, taking screenshots, Bhavishya? Yes, ma'am. OK, fine. Bhavishya, I think you told me that uh, you will submit your classwork uh, by Tuesday, correct? Monday you had texted me that you will finish your classwork by Tuesday, correct? I have texted that I have finished the classwork on Wednesday morning. Louder, Bhavishya? I told you that I will be finishing on Wednesday morning. Oh, OK, I forgot then, OK. Now, uh, when can I expect the... Uh, you know, classwork and uh, assignment pictures from you. Because they have uh, given test for me in school, ma'am. Surely I can't be able to submit. Yeah, yeah. I know you are otherwise very prompt in completing, uh, uh, you know, whatever is given. That I know. Yes. <laughs> Sharing on Sunday or Monday. Sunday or Monday. Now you finished uh, the test at school, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. So first, uh, complete those, uh, complete the classwork. That is, I uh, shared some pages, no, some pictures on uh, cubes and cube roots. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, write down all that in your uh, tuition notebook, and all those are explained in the videos. So watch oh, them. Classwork I have done half done, half classwork I have done. Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Completed, and uh, for the explanation, watch the videos. And then after that, uh, when you're ready, uh, you can either take up uh, the two test papers. You can 
take the help of the video and uh, complete it because uh, I don't want you to de delay we, uh, because I think in today's class I thought I'll start uh, the next chapter uh, understanding quadrilaterals but I don't think we'll have time we'll see uh, so maybe if not today then Monday we will uh, definitely start off with a new chapter so I don't want anything pending from your side all right Bhavishya yeah Yeah, Swati, so what's the answer for the first one? I'm minus 34, mom. Minus 34. 34, mom. Yeah, correct. Swati and Bhavisha, just a minute. I'll get back. Just a minute. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, Babishya and Swati. Any uh, questions here, Swati? No, ma'am, no question. Okay. Yeah, what's the value of uh, this expression? Um, three by four. Three by four. Perfect.
Yeah, check your steps. And instead of doing prime factorization, I did the estimation method. Estimation method. Can you explain that? Okay, I have the picture with me no? on WhatsApp. Let me check that one minute. Um, I think I did that for the test one. Sorry? No, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. I did that for test one, ma'am. Oh, okay. Then uh, how have we worked this? And this by normal method, ma'am. I'm simplifying. No, are your steps different from what you see on the screen? No, ma'am, it's not different, ma'am. The thing is that I did all the rough calculation in the back of my note, ma'am. No, but all this is a part of the uh, answer. Yeah, ma'am, I got, yes, ma'am. Okay. So you need to uh, take up 450 and 960. Not 450, sorry, 405, 405 and 960 and uh, express them as a product of their primes. After that, you can simplify. You can see here 3, 5, 3, 5 gets cancelled. 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 5, and 5 gets cancelled. So under the cube root, we have three threes in the numerator, so 1, 3 out, and we have three twos, 1, 2 out, another three twos, 1, 2 out, so 3 by 4. So I've explained in the rules that uh, when there's a minus sign inside, when it's a cube root and there's a minus sign, you can bring that minus sign outside. You can bring it outside like this. You can rewrite this expression like this. Bring both the minus signs outside. So they get cancelled now. Minus and minus gets cancelled. Minus and minus gets cancelled. So it's cube root of 405 by 960. So express 405 and 960 as a product of their prime factors. So you start with, uh, you know, three. So that procedure, so this procedure, which is very familiar to you, and that's how we get three into three into three into three into five for the numerator, and this one for the denominator. And after that, uh, you can cancel out three and five. So three threes, one three out of the cube root, three twos, one two out, and again, three twos, one two out. So three by four. So the value of the given expression is three by four. Yeah, what's the answer for this one? What's the least number? Ma'am, I had a doubt on this, ma'am. Okay, yeah. Ma'am, the doubt is that I got 2 into 5 into 7 into 7 into 7 as the prime factors, ma'am. Now let me write that. Uh, tell me again, 2 into 5 into 7 cubed, is it? Yes, ma'am. Correct. Yes, ma'am, and then 2 and uh, 5 are left unpaired, ma'am. Uh, yeah, they don't occur in triples. Yes, ma'am. Correct. Ma'am, I multiplied and I got 10, ma'am. Now, if 2 has to become 2 cubed, how many 2's you need? If this 2 has to become 2 cubed? Um, 2 squared. You need 2 squared. And then this is 5. If this 5 should become 5 cubed, how many more 5's you need? Um, 5 squared. 5 squared. What is the product of these 2? 4 25's are 100. So 100 is the least number to be multiplied. 100. 100 is the least yes, number to be multiplied. Okay, okay. Yes, I that. was confused like, by finding perfect square and cube. Oh. So here every prime factor must occur in triples. Here every prime factor should occur in triples. Now when the question is what is the number to be multiplied? Whichever 
prime does not occur in triples you must uh, make it uh, you know like uh, now this is 2 so you should make it 2 cubed this is 5 you must make it 5 cubed 7 cubed is perfect it already occurs in triples so how will you make 2 2 cubed by multiplying by 2 square how will you make 5 5 cubed by multiplying by 5 square so the product of these two is 4 into 25 100 so 100 is the least number by which 3430 is to be multiplied so that the product is a perfect cube now for the same question if we have to find the least number by which it should be divided for the same question if we have to find the least number by which it should be divided so 3 4 3 0 is equal to uh, 2 into 5 into 7 cube so if you have to find the least number to be divided you must take away all those primes which do not occur in triples you must take away you must remove all the primes that do not occur in triples now this 2 doesn't occur in triples it's 2 it's not 2 cube take it away so you should take out 1 2 5 doesn't occur in triples there's only one 5 take it away take it away 7 is good it occurs in triples so you'll have to take away this 2 and take away this 5 so in all you have to take away 10 so 3000 the least number is 10 so 3430 is to be divided by 10 so that the quotient is a perfect cube. To find the least number to be divided, you must take away all those primes which do not occur in triples. Take away 2, take away 5, remove it from there. So you should remove how much in all? 2 into 5, 10. But if you have to find the least number to be multiplied, you must make those uh, primes which do not occur in triples to be in triples so you should introduce the factors so for this you need two square for this you need five square so in all you need 100 25 to 400 100 is a number to be multiplied but 10 is a number by which it should be divided So since there's only one two, there's only one two. So you need two more twos. There's only one five, two more fives. Two squared into 2500. Yeah. How do you express uh, 9504 as a product of its primes? Um, two raised to the power 5 into 3 cube into 11 mum into 11 so this is nothing but 2 cubed into 2 square into 3 cubed into 11 correct yeah mum yeah now you must take away the primes that don't occur in triple triples because you'll have to find the least number by which it should be divided so this one is fine 2 cube here this two occurs occurs in triples this is two square take it away take away whatever you see whichever the, uh, the you know prime does not occur in triples take it away so two square it's not raised to the power three it's raised to the power two take it away you should remove this that is you should remove two square and then three cubed is fine this one and this one they are raised to the power three so they are good 11 is not raised to the power 3. Take it away. You don't need this. Take it away. So 11 into 4, 44. 9,504 is to be divided by 44 so that the quotient is a perfect cube. Did you get 44? Swati? Yeah, mama, I got 44, mom. And when we divide 9,504 by 44, we get 216, mom. And uh, yeah, six cube root is six.
Is 6048 a perfect cube? Give reasons. Ma'am, no, ma'am. Since 6048 cannot be uh, expressed as a product of its triple triples of equal prime factors, it is not a perfect cube. Good. Check the prime factorization if I'm right. I got 2 raised to the power 5 into 3 cubed into 7 mm and yours is also same. Yeah, complete the table. Volume of a cube is equal to? Ma'am, ma'am, let us keep the side as same, ma'am. So the answer will be A cubed. A cube, okay. And surface area of a cube? Ma'am, this one you didn't say yes in the video, ma'am. Okay. So how many surfaces uh, does a cube have? Six faces, ma'am. Six surfaces, yeah. Six faces or six surfaces. Uh, now, each face of a cube is a square, correct? Yes, ma'am. Each face of a cube is a square. What is the area of a square? A squared, ma'am. A square, side into side, A into A, A square. So, area of one face is A square. What will be the area of six faces? 6 into a squared or a squared? Yeah, 6 into a squared. So that is the uh, formula to find the surface area of a cube. A cube has 6 square faces. 6 square faces. The area of each face is a squared. Because each face is a square, the area of each face is a squared. So the area of six faces will be six into a square, six a square. So the surface area of a cube is equal to six a square, square units, area, square units, volume, cubic units. Okay. I've here written it in terms of sides. So uh, side cubed, or you can write a cube, six a square or side square. Anything's fun. You can also write it like this. A yes, cubed cubic units. And uh, six A square square units. This is also accepted. Or in general, instead of saying A, you can say in general side cubed cubic units, six into side square. Because side square is the formula to find the area of a square. 6 into side square. All right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So this answer, the total surface area of a cube. Is 2.94 meters square. Find its side. So the total surface area of a cube is given. With this, you should find the side. That means 6a square is given. 6 into side square or 6a square is given to you. So see here, TSA, total surface area of a cube. See, surface area is a total surface area. Totally, there are six faces. So the total surface area is given to be 2.94 meters square. What is uh, TSA, the total surface area? 
what's the formula? Six into side square is equal to two point nine four. Six into side square is equal to two ninety four by hundred. Two ninety four by hundred. Two point nine four means two ninety four by hundred. Now the six will come for division. Side square is equal to two ninety four four by six. The six which is here comes down for division in the next step. Six into there's already hundred. So six into hundred. Now simplify. Um, <clears throat> In the tables of uh, two, two threes are six, two ones are two, fours are eight, two sevens are. And in the tables of three, three ones are three, and uh, three fours are twelve, three nines are twenty-seven. So when you cancel six and two ninety-four, you get when you cancel six and two ninety-four, okay, six goes away, and this one is forty-nine. When you cancel, when you simplify. Uh, or when you reduce this fraction 294 by 6, when you reduce it, you get 49 by 1. Okay, so side square is equal to 49 by 100. So side is equal to square root of 49 by 100. So side is equal to the square root of 49 is 7 and the square root of 100 is 10. So 7 by 10. The square root of 49 is 7. And the square root of 100 is 10, so 7 by 10. And 7 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.7 meters. So the side is equal to 0 0.7 meters. Yeah, man. Yeah. So first, 6 into side square, this is TSA, is equal to 2.94. 6 into side square is equal to convert 2.94, this decimal to a fraction, so 294 by 100. And in the next step, the six here comes for division to the other side. Then you reduce, you simplify these two numbers and you get 49 by 100. So side square is 49 by 100. So the side is equal to the square root of 49 by 100. 49 square root of 7, 100 square root is 10. So 7 by 10 and 7 by 10 is 0 0.7. So the side of the cube, each side of the cube is 0 0.7 meters. Should I say the answer? Yeah. Ma'am, 9 into A square into B square by 5 into A square into B, ma'am. A square into B square by? Come on, 9 into? 9 into A square into B square by? 5 into a square into b num. But how b power 6 you're saying b square? It's b cubed, right? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, after simplifying b cubed into b cubed, we get b into b num, ma'am. I was asking you. So what is the square root of 81? 9, ma'am. Square root of 81 is 9. Okay. The square root of uh, A to the power 4, how many A's? Ma'am, A square into A square. Yeah, so there are 4 A's, so 2 A's will come out. A square into A square. So that is A to the power 4 means A into A into A into A. So from two A's, one A comes out. And from these two A's, one A comes out. So A square from A, A to the power 4 is under the square root. So A square will come out of the square root, A square. And from B to the power 6, how many B's? Six B's. Six B's. So three B's will come out. So B, B cubed. The numerator, in the numerator, it's a square root. Denominator, cube root. Square root of 81 is 9. Square root of a to the power 4 is a square. So a square. Square root of b to the power 6 is b cubed. Because there are 6 b's. 3 b's will come out. b into b into b into b into b into b. From 2 b's, 1 b out. From 2 b's, 1 b out. From 2 b's, 1 b out. So in all, b cubed. 
divided by in the denominator we have 5 into 25 5 into 25 means 5 into 5 square 25 is 5 square so this is 5 cubed there are three fives there are three fives one five will come out 25 is 5 square into 5 so 5 cubed so 1 5 will come out then a to the power 6 now this is these are under the cube root a to the power 6 that is a into a into a into a into a into a a to the power 6 so from 3 a's 1 a out from 3 a's 1 a out so a square a square and b b cubed 3b so 1b out of the cube root now you can cancel a square and a square gets cancelled and uh, here b square is left so the final answer is 9b square by 5 the final answer is 9b square by 5 you will see it here Yeah, please go through the answer. So 81 is 9 square, a to the power 4, a square into a square, b to the power 6, b square into b square into b square. And this one, I've written it as 5 cubed, because this is 5 and this is 5 square. This is 5 and this is 5 square, so 5 cubed it is. Or 5 into 25 is 125 and 125 is 5 cubed. A cubed into A cubed, A to the power 6, B cubed. So in the numerator, square root. From two nines, one nine out. From two A's, one A out. From two A's, one A out. From two B's, one B out. From two B's, one B out. From two B's, one B out. In the denominator, uh, the terms are under the cube root. So five cubed under the cube root, so one phi out. From three fives, one phi out. From three a's, one a out. Same thing here, one a out and one b out. Now you can cancel. You can simplify a and a, a and a, b and b. So nine b squared by five. Yes, ma'am, now I understood. Yeah, very good. So how we get 5 cubed is because 5 into 25 is 125, 125, which is 5 cubed, which is 5 cubed. Yeah, so a pattern is given to us. And we'll have to complete the next pattern. Um, shall I say? Yes. Ma'am, 1 plus 2 plus 3 and goes on until x, the whole square. Whole square. Correct. One plus two plus three plus goes on till x, the whole square. Pattern is given to us. Using this pattern, you'll have to complete this uh, pattern, the second pattern. So 
it's given one cube, two cube, one cube plus two cube plus three cube, like that till 25 cube is equal to one plus two plus three till 25, the whole square. So one to 25, the whole square. One to 25, the whole square. So similarly here, it will be one to X, the whole square. One plus two plus three, so on till X, the whole square. There is nothing to simplify or something here. Nothing to solve here. You should just observe this pattern. You must just observe this pattern. This pattern is given to you. If this one can be written like this, then how will you write this is the question. If you can write this like this, then how will you write this? So you must observe this pattern and complete this one. And this is the answer. Yeah, this one, a similar question was explained in the video. This is the answer. Check Swati. Um, I did an R question, ma'am. That's what I Okay, tell me your answer, Swati, for the next one. I saw the question just now. Ma'am, it's 111, ma'am. So one, uh, 1,331 can be expressed as a sum of uh, odd numbers starting from 111 to 133, ma'am. So how many odd numbers you should add? Uh, ma'am, 11 odd numbers. Starting from? 111. 111. Yes, ma'am. So that I'm somewhere else. Okay. What about this one? Uh, any doubt with this answer? No, ma'am, no doubts. So this is similar to that. Uh, what is the least number to be multiplied? To answer this question, it is similar to what is the least number to be multiplied. So now uh, the dimensions of the cuboid is given to you. 2 into 4 into 6. So two, 4 can be written as 2 square. 6 can be written as 2 into 3. Volume of the cube. Find the volume of the cuboid. L into B into H. So 2 into 4 into 6. Now 2, 4 is 2 square, 6 is 2 into 3. Next, you can combine this 2 and 2 square and write it as 2 cubed. But this 2 and 3, they don't occur in triples. There's only 1, 2 and 1, 3. These two you can combine, 2 into 2 square. You can combine and write it as 2 cubed. And this one and this one as it is. So now how will we answer the question, what is the least number to be multiplied? How will we answer that question? Whichever prime does not occur in triples, you must add, meaning you should in, uh, introduce them and make them occur in triples. So if this two, if this two has to occur in triples, if this two should be written as two cubed, you need two square. And if this three has to become three, three cubed, it should, then you need another three square. If this two, must become two cubed. Then you need two square. And if this three has to become three cubed, you need three square. That is two into two square is two cubed. And three into three square is three cubed. Similar to answering what is the least number to be multiplied. 
2 into 2 square is 2 cubed. 3 into 3 square is 3 cubed. So what do we have to multiply? 2 square and 3 square. So 2 square into 3 square, which means 4 into 9, 36. So 36 such cuboids are needed to form a cube. 36 such cuboids are needed to form a cube. And this question is similar to the least number should be divided. Not divided, multiplied. Yes. That's what I was telling you. It is similar to what is the least number to be multiplied. So that the product becomes a perfect cube. Because you're introducing the factors, right? Yes. Yeah. Ma'am, so if they asked, uh, if the question was similar to be divided, should we have to do two no. into three? No, no, here it will, yeah. If the question is what is the number to be uh, divided, then you should take away two and take away three. You must take away two and take away three. If the question is what is the number to be divided? Then you should take away, you should take away two and you should take away three. That is, you should take away two into three, six. You must take away six. Yeah, ma'am, understand. All right, children. So with this, uh, we have discussed the answers to the uh, test questions. So positively, on Monday, we'll start that new chapter, Understanding Water Levels. Uh, what have we uh, learnt in school, Bhavishya and Swati? Bhavishya, uh, what are the chapters that uh, they have been completed in school? Um, rational numbers and understanding quadrilaterals, ma'am. Oh, you finished understanding quadrilaterals in school, is it? Yes, ma'am. Oh, very good. Okay. And what about Swati? Ma'am, um, uh, square root and uh, cube roots, ma'am. And then we are doing rational numbers. Oh, okay, okay. Fine. All right, Swati. Fine, children. Fine, I'm Bhavishya and Swati. I mean, exit for rational number, they are asking terminating and non terminating decimal numbers. In exit, you have that, is it? Actually, in other books, uh, it's a part of 9th standard. You don't find that in R.D. Sharma or R.S. Agarwal of 8th. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, no problem. Uh, one minute. I'll just uh, stop the recording and we'll talk about that. One second.